beautiful, beautiful fighting stance right there. And and you would come in. So let's close in on each other. And if we're here, we're going to play this. So the moment somebody grabs onto this here, very important. The location where to grab, you want to grab nice and high because okay. you have more leverage that way. You yeah. know what I mean? Then yeah, if I grab, grab low, there's, don't, don't grab the neck, grab the top of there's the a lot less leverage here. So if you can remember, you grab up here. So grab me on the same side or on the opposite side. Good, good, oh, excellent, like wait, that. Okay, good. and now take your other hand and put it right here. Okay, bring it in a little bit closer and don't use any strength right now, just really like. So this end, bring it over here. This end over here. Yep. Like this? Nope, just block this arm from, uh, yeah, this is the swim. Exactly. Oh, okay. And That's the back. swim. Yeah. And we're swimming, yeah. Okay, so details to this is footing. Notice how you didn't change your feet once. Okay. So when we're here and yeah. you're standing this way, Feel this. If I pull you a little bit, then I just yeah. You're, you're, there's nothing to stop you from there. So, so I have to the key is to switch feet. Which, now, which foot should be like if always? You, if like always this. your your in hand. Well, I call it the underhook hand. On here, it doesn't make sense, but in the body lock, it does. You know what I mean? Your your hand that's dominant, that foot forward. So if I have the clinch this way and I got both sides, doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, whichever way I want to put my feet. But if I have it on this side and you've got it on this side, and I want to put this this foot forward, you know what I mean? Yeah. Then when I switch to this side, I want to step this way. Now it doesn't matter whether I step that foot forward or step the other foot back. It really depends on on the leverage. Okay? So let's just start really really lightly, that way so you can feel it. If we start wrenching on each other, we're not gonna feel the the subtle shifts of balance. You know what I mean? So go ahead, grab one. Always have both hands. Go down, guys. So nice and gentle like this. And you're, you remember here, here, and you want to bring this in. And you want to bring this in a little bit further this way. Do you know why? See how much more difficult it is for me to come okay. in here. Now, you don't want to get too far off balance because if you get past your center line, I'm going to break you off this um, way. You know what I, what I mean? So all this stuff is available from there. But that's just one of the things. So go swim in here. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play that game with you. Yeah. You know what I mean? And see how you angled out here. That opens up for me here, and now I've got yeah more control of you. So this is the one clinch, and I want to also show you the other clinch. Now I'm just gonna want you to work on it a really basically right now. So we're not gonna go into too many details with either one of them. Yeah. Because uh, after you spend a couple hours doing this, then I can come in and work with you a lot better after that. Do you okay. know what I mean? Yeah. So the other one that is uh, my favorite one is the body. Okay, so either if you're watching guys in the UFC clinching, you see Randy Couture doing this kind of game, he's punching constantly, you know, has lots of control here. But when he wants to take his guy down, usually he'll go for the body lock. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the body lock is basically this. You want to bring your hands in. You want to lock your hands and bring them as low on your opponent's spine. You lock them wherever yeah. you can and then you shimmy them down low. The lower they are, it's going to help you with the leverage to be able to cave your opponent in half. There's a lot of guys that do this phenomenally. They get a good body lock, they do an outside trip, land right into a mount, punch their guy, it's finished. Of course, you know, if we're doing it for self-defense, we do the body lock, we take the guy down, we just sit on top of him. That's a great negotiating position. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, like, really, if they start fighting from there, then you've got such an advantage to, to drop a couple of shots. I wouldn't close your hand even at that point. I would just give them a couple open hand snaps. They're degrading, but they hurt just as much. And you're not going to cause break any, your break your knuckles and get, get infected hand. You know, that's way worse than anything that could happen. So on the street, if you don't have gloves, you really mostly want to fight with open hands. You know I what agree. I mean? I you agree. might poke the person yeah. in the eye, but then they shouldn't be fighting you in the first place. That's something that can happen no matter what. So the body lock swim, very similar. So bring one arm in, okay? And uh, then the other one I want here, okay? So this hand over here, see how I'm doing this? Okay. Oh, yeah. You know why we want that? is because if I can make this space here, right, tons of space right now, I can just take my hand and swim it in, it's done, right? Okay, so, you so need to oh yeah, this space is eliminated. Now, if I want to create more space, I can do it this way, but you can't get as deep with that body lock now, can you? No. 
you know what I mean? And I could do another thing where, see how my, the proper legs forward on both of us, right? Yeah. So what I would do is I just bump you, and I go and from that. here, bump, swim in, and then double body bump. And then you could take them down from there. Yeah, at, at this point, what I would do is, uh, since you're taller than me, even if you're not taller, I'm going to get my head right under your chin, right? See how it's bending you back already? Yeah. And I'm going to pull this part in real tight, step over, and then yeah, take you down to either one direction or the other. I'm going to go.